Hey what's going on guys, hope all you're doing, welcome to a new video tutorial from IPNewist. Today we're gonna have a course series, a new course series, which is about React. So we're just gonna get started with React, create a couple of applications, crazy one, and learn more about React, how it works, and use the, the power of React to create a very nice and elegant user interfaces. And yeah, it's gonna be very, very funny series over here. So we're gonna do a lot of things, we're gonna just offer a lot of examples, and also uh, we're gonna do a lot of practical things uh, along the way on this series. So in this particular story, we're just gonna get started setting up a lot of things using React with Webpack and like set up the stuff we're gonna work on and the, the development environments we're gonna work on actually. So, and we're gonna explain a couple of things. So actually React, you can go to the website react.js to learn more or to see some kind of uh, like examples and demos. Yeah, it's very nice thing. If you don't know what is React, React is just a, a framework that will allow you to create a user interfaces using JavaScript at real time. So you can include HTML elements on the JavaScript uh, and just render that out into the actual HTML so you can manipulate the elements more efficiently and also React is very performance friendly so if you need a quite a big application or big scale project and it needs a lot of elements to be re-rendered to keep to keep updating uh, like on on a loop cycle so react is probably the most convenient thing for you and like it's probably the best choice for you since react is from Facebook for those of you who don't know about that and yeah this is it so react just builds user interfaces in a very efficient way so if you still don't convinced about using react you will see that is uh, like alongside this the, the series the power of react uh, i wasn't convinced like back then when i started learning about react and using it in my projects but now i'm very convinced i will use react to any project or my next project on on the web so in any project who will develop probably i will use react enough talking 11 shady chat things so let's just dive into that so i'm gonna use react with webpack and using react with webpack is just a little bit tricky so for that we're gonna like need some couple of things to use also we're gonna use laravel mix if you for those of you who don't know what is laravel mix is just kind of a wrapper around webpack so webpack is just kind of a big giant complicated library that bundles your images and javascript files and css things and laravel mix makes it even more simpler so it takes webpack and just add a wrapper around it and make it very very simple for you to use it right out of the box and also we're gonna use bubble or babel or I don't know how to spell this especially but we're gonna use that for compiling JavaScript code and that why we need it because we're going to use GSX and that is using HTML elements on the JavaScript code so we can render elements from the react so we're gonna talk about it and it's bubble is very important as well so we're gonna need it so those are the basic things gonna need. We'll just dive into our code. I've just set up a couple of things as you can see here. As you can tell, I've just gone gone and started or created a couple of things. So the first thing is distribution folder. I have an index.html on it. It's just a basic HTML, so you can just delete that if you if you don't like it. So we will talk about it later on. And also we have app.js. So this is like a bundled app.js from Webpack. And also let me just remove that from here. So I'm gonna remove it and re. re Bundle it or recompile it using Webpack. And if you go, I have no modules because I have already installed a couple of modules for just making this story a little bit more quicker and save a little bit of time. And also, here I have a render.js, and this render.js file is gonna take in or handling all the rendering process of, of our React. And obviously, we have the app.js, and this, this is the entry point of our application. So, whenever Webpack is going to start compiling our assets, it's gonna just start looking under the app.js and then require a couple of things in here if we do have that. And and just gonna dive dive right into this until find something uh, or like just import all of our JavaScript files a lot of that are actually included into the app.js file so yeah this is like the entry point and here we have the package.js since we're gonna use node.js of course this is very obvious over now and yeah webpack.mix.js which we're gonna talk about it a little bit 
later on. So first things first, you need to install a couple of modules, especially the modules that we have just talked about. First, just go ahead and make sure to set up this, like out of your package.json, just npm init and initialize your projects using Node.js. If you don't know, if you don't know that, so just go to my channel, you're gonna find a full course series about Node.js. So just watch this, you're gonna show you a lot of things of Node.js and you probably just set up to go with this project. Now, npm, we need to install a couple of things as I've said. npm install, we need to install React first. So make sure to install React and React DOM. So React DOM gonna help us manipulate our DOM, HTML DOM. So make sure to install both of these React, React DOM, save them as an actual dependencies. And yeah, and also we're gonna need the Webpack, as I've said, Webpack and Laravel Mix, uh, that's all gonna work together. So Webpack and also make sure to install uh, Laravel dash max and save them as development dependencies or dependencies, but development dependencies is more suitable for these packages over here or modules. And the last thing we're gonna need is the bubble loader. So we have here bubble, make sure to install bubble and bubble loader and bubble environments and cross environments. And cross environments is just gonna allow you to use uh, all of the commands yeah, like in a, sp a very specific way on a cross platform so just make sure to install it since we're gonna use it on like uh, watching or compiler files using webpack and Laravel max now after installing all of that you are ready to go and everything's set up correctly and now we need to like tell it or tell webpack how to bundle our packages that's why we're gonna use Laravel max which make bundling packages especially with react and webpack is gonna make it a little bit more easier for us so we have just included just um a very simple laravel.mix.js script file that will do it's just gonna go ahead and test for the gsx which is probably going to be a file or the react file since we're gonna use gsx on it so we're just gonna use the bubble loader and exclude the node modules then just gonna let us use the esx 2015 syntax and react using the bubble as if as I've told you before, that bubble is a compiler, so it's gonna compile our code into a real or native JavaScript code. So this is like what it does. It just gonna takes that keywords that JavaScript doesn't exactly know about and make it JavaScript friendly code. So JavaScript can just interpret that and run it I right, right out of the box actually with, with no problems. So yeah, so make sure to include that. Just go ahead, mix.webpack configuration, module.export, and just use the target node, watch true externals, and you can delete that if you like, but yeah, just keep it for making no errors for you. And here we have modulo, so just gonna have the loader and using the bubble loader. Also you're gonna find this on GitHub, so just make sure to grab it. It's very simple code, so you can just pause the video and rewrite it on your own. Make sure to place under the webpack.mix.js and do the root of your application. And on the top in here, what we're doing is just telling max.js, of course requiring make Laravel max, and just max.js, we're telling it to bundle our app.js, so go ahead and look in the the up, uh, up roots or the root folder for app.js and put it into the distribution folder. So the compiler file is gonna exist in the distribution folder over here. And here, this this line of code is gonna save us. Uh, like if you have a, an error of the stack uh, when when you try to run the watch webpack watch, if you if your compiler stack at ninety five percent and it doesn't like compile successfully, just make sure to add that code into the Laravel.mix or webpack.mix.js file and everything's gonna work fine for you. So yeah, this is like a little work around the error. And yeah, just using here path and webpack for this sake of that. So yeah, this is very simple. This is what I'm doing over here. This is our webpack.mix.js and yeah, everything's going to work fine now. This is all of it. This is like project now is set up and ready to go. Now under the render.js, all of our rendering reacts is going to go under the render.js. Uh, I really recommend going ahead with this project stu structure on any web development projects you're going from, from now on, just put it into the SRC and an app.js and set it up like pretty much like this because it's a little bit more user friendly. And if you just deployed your code into anybody else, it's gonna understand it right out of the box because it's very easy and very straightforward to understand with this basic files. Enough talking now. We, for the regular JavaScript, if you try to type uh, React or GSX code over here, it's just gonna give you an error 
and it doesn't it, it won't compile correctly so make sure to if you are on visual studio code i don't know about the other code editors so if you are on visual studio code go into into the in the bottom bar over here this blue bar i'm gonna find the javascript uh, the language we are using just go over that you or search for react i'm gonna find react javascript select it and yeah i'm gonna turn into the react icon in here and yeah that indicates that we are on the right path so now we can use react our uh, right out of the box so for using react is actually very very simple and very basic so let me just show you a very simple example also another thing i didn't mention into the app.js make sure to require the src renderer which is our file in here to make sure that it's going to be included into the app.js and under the index.html so this is going to be our our html file we can just make it a very simple html file i'm going to use an html file boiler palette uh, let, let me just take a title of react application and down here for using react i'm going to use or declare like a main element for holding all of our react uh, based element. So here I'm going to just create a dev and I give it an ID of the root which represents our root node. Yeah, this is it. It's very simple now. It's going to work pretty much fine. Under here also, you can um, yeah, render or include a script and make sure to require our app.js. Yeah, so here we are in the distribution. Make sure to go ahead and do distribution forward slash and go ahead and do since our app.js is going to be compiled there so i'm going to just put app.js and since that will ensure that we're going to like include or require the app.js we're just going to compile right now so now we need to compile a couple of things using let me just clear that using webpack so for compiling you can use the um the, the normal webpack command but I, I don't really recommend that also under the package.json you can go ahead and do the script and add this new script so it's called watch which is gonna run a watch for us so whenever we uh, do changes to our render.js or app.js file and we resave that it's just gonna recompile everything from scratch for us automatically so we don't need, need to do anything manually anymore just run the script or run yeah run the script and everything's gonna be fine after that so this script what it tells just copy it just cross environment node environment node modules webpack .js watch and a lot of things but just try to copy that I don't know if you can see that but yeah, you can find it on GitHub, as I've said, or you can find it into my tutorials website, iPlus.com. So I'm gonna find a link description below that's gonna take you into the website or this particular tutorial post. You can just read it through the written tutorial and you're gonna find this for sure. So just search there and you're gonna find this command. Just copy it and put it into your script tag, and yeah, you are ready to go. Now we can run this npm run watch. So to like compile our files, compile the render.js, compile the app.js and make sure that everything is going to work fine. Let me just say that because yeah, I've done some changes over here. And under, under the uh, in the index.html, all we need is just to use the root file over here and everything is going to look fine or because we're going to just require that under the render.js and then from, from now on, we're going to work on it from that yes now it's compiled successfully as you can see built successful and compiled successfully in whatever milliseconds it says and as you can see app.js has been created successfully as under the distribution folder now for the render.js you can render anything so first things first let me import the react so import react from what you're using as you can see here es or esx syntax or es2015 syntax from react and also I'm going to import react dom so react dom from react dom here I'm importing everything and this is all you need to import for react to work now we need to let react to like tell us to render somewhere on our application so for that we need to get our uh, like root element over here under the index.html so we can use native javascript for that so let's go ahead and say root equals document dot get elements by id and i'm gonna pass it in root id since we have just assigned the root id for our elements over there now we've got the root element we can render that using the react dom dot render that is like render method it you give it the elements you want to render 
which we're gonna talk about a little bit and where you wanna render it. So we're gonna render it into the root and here you give it the elements you wanna render, which is like a React component. For the React component, you're just gonna give this class. We're gonna talk about this a little bit more, um, more like advanced thing, more in deep or in depth for the class and the components and everything about React. Just for now, I'm good, just gonna do test. So just bear with me. If Even though you don't understand that, we're gonna talk about it more in advanced way in the next video tutorials on this series. So just bear that in your mind. So let's react.components and constructor props super and props again and the render method which actually going to return a very simple HTML elements. I'm just gonna give it a div and under that div is hello world to test like that everything is going to work fine. Let me just semicolon at the end and yeah as you can see we've got an error. So let's just include that test and yep so we need to make this an uppercase copy this I'm putting it there and we are ready to go. So just compiling now, everything gonna work fine. So as you can see, compile successfully. Now we can just go ahead and save this as well and try to open that on a browser. So open in default browser. So we're just gonna take us into the default browser. And yep, we've got a React application over here. So we can just take a look into the um, console.log. We've got require as in, and then defined into the index.html. So as you can see, we've got an error that's required isn't defined. So since we're using require in here, what we need now is to change. So if you want to get require, you need to use some kind of like an extension to make required defined into the index.html. Another workaround under this code, you can use native JavaScript code, just calling the src under here and just make sure to include the app.js and everything gonna work fine. So just control R and yeah, as you can see, root is not defined. So let's see. And also we've got another one because we haven't defined root. So let me just say let's and declare the root. I didn't declare it at all. And also the other problem that we have got over here is that we need to render everything after the DOM layout. If you know what is the DOM, so the DOM need to be reloaded and created under our browser. So then we can append here we are, which, what you're actually doing is rendering to the DOM, which means appending a new element into the DOM, which means that the DOM need to be reloaded in order to append into it. So we just added the, and like, an added event listener for that when the DOM is content is layouted, so we're just gonna render into the DOM. As simple as that. So always make sure to check for the uh, DOM content layouted, then render into it. So as simple as that. Now if we could control save and like open in default browser again, we should like uh, also only HTML. So make sure to use. Uh, if you're not wondering, opening the browser here, I'm using an, an, like Visual Studio Code extension. Boom. Yeah. Awesome. So we've got here, hello world. And it's working. As you can see, we are rendering it from the hello world, uh, from, from actually JavaScript and React. So this is it. As simple as that. We are rendering our text. But in the next video tutorials, we are not just going to render the text. We're going to go in more advanced topics and more advanced examples of states and properties and all those kind of things. So yeah, just stay tuned. I will catch you guys in the next video tutorial.